We have just released another update for Edgewonk and in this short video I'll show you what is new. So first of all thank you for all the great feedback and we always listen very closely and a lot of traders requested to hide the milestone area because maybe it's not applicable and maybe they want to see different things in their home tab and we listened and now this is possible. So here in the top you can just untick this box and then you will see that the milestone area disappears and you have a different view of your home tab. In the future we will also add a fully customizable option for your home screen so that you can move around and choose turn on and off different widgets here but this will come in the future. Also another thing is that we made all of those titles clickable. So if you for example want to jump to the full profit calendar, you can do that, click the link and then if you want to get a detailed breakdown of your current month, you can even click on the header here and then you will see a full breakdown of how many trades you have taken on a given day and what the outcome was. You can also just click on that day and then you will jump straight ahead to the journal and you'll see a selection of all the trades for that specific day. Another thing that was requested is to allow easier search on the filters. So if you open the filters now and for example you go to your instrument and you want to see a specific instrument but you maybe have a lot of data here, what you can do is just type in the instrument that you're looking for and then you can find it easier. This is also available for the setups. Also you can find it easier when you add a new trade. So if you want to search an instrument, when you're adding a trade, you have the same search option now for instrument and also for settings. As explained in the previous video, we are also working very closely on releasing our trading plan feature. So this we will release probably in early April and you will be able to plan a trade before you take it and then either move it to your actual fulfilled trades or to your missed trades. We also continue to add more and more supported platforms. So when you open your menu and then you scroll down here to your settings and the import, you will see that our list is growing and we recently added DAS Trader. We also added our first version for interactive brokers. Saxo Bank is now available as well. TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. Since there are a lot of unique edge cases on those different broker platforms and imports, if you encounter any issues during your upload, please send us your file that you try to upload and we will look, take a look with our developers and make sure to fix any issues. The link to the support system where you can send your statements is in the video description below. Thank you once again for the overwhelming feedback, the great continuous support. We keep developing Edgewonk and you can be excited for what is coming in the future. Happy journaling and see you in the next video.